Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. A little prologue to today's video. This is the start of Mystery Week. I've teased this a little bit on my social medias but I kept it pretty quiet. It's a really exciting collaboration that's going to be happening all this week. Myself, Tower of Ultimate Doom, Demarcation Media, Mega Gabby, L Block Del Saber, and Mega Chief Constructs creator are all teaming up to launch Mystery Week. Throughout this week, we're going to be releasing videos that are just titled Mystery Reviews. And in these videos will be mystery product reviews from Halo Mega Blocks, Halo Mega Constructs from the conception of the line all the way to present day. When you see the video and the thumbnail, you'll have no idea what review it is. Hence why you clicked on this video. I'm sure you have no idea what's going on. In a moment after this intro, I'm going to review a special product, one of my favorite set or sets. Over the course of this week, I'm going to do a couple more alongside, as I mentioned, some of my favorite content creators. We currently have a timetable and don't expect us to follow this directly to the T, but we've got today, it's myself doing a review that you're watching right now. Tomorrow, a review from Tower of Ultimate Doom will drop, and on Wednesday, Demarcation Media will have a mystery review. Then Thursday, El Block Del Saber, and Friday, Mega Gabby. Then on the weekend, Saturday, is Demarcation Media and Tower of Ultimate Doom on one day. And the final day, myself and Mega Chief Constructs Creator will have reviews coming out. And these will roughly be dropping at 4 p.m. CST, but again, don't expect us to to go, uh, you know, direct to the line. This is just all content creators having a bit of fun. Don't hold us to this timetable, but just be on the lookout for when people drop their mystery reviews. I'm gonna leave links in the bio and the comments, description, the live feed, whatever, and all my social medias with links to all of these content creators' YouTube channels. And if you're a content creator that wants to get involved with this, just send me an email. My email can be found on the contact page of my YouTube channel, or hit me up on my Discord. I'm the server owner, the domain or on my Facebook group, The Mega Constructs Domain. I'm the main admin there. So find me, send me a message, say, hey, I want to be involved in this. And if you tag me in social medias or send me a direct message and you show that you have done one of these mystery reviews, I'll happily share your channel in a community post alongside boosting all of these other content creators as well. It's been a really great couple of months for growth on this channel and the MCX community in general. I can feel that we're getting a lot bigger every day. Even on our Facebook group, the last week we've gained about 200 plus new followers, which is absolutely wild. And we're also at the end of my big Mega Constructs sale and I obviously can't thank you all enough for the support on that. So without further ado, let me kick off Mystery Week with a bonus little review of two Two of my favorite products from the MCX line. Let's check it out. And the special mystery review for today is a dual review. Oh, would you look at that? Emil and his mongoose, Jewel and Dharma and his ghost. Now, the first thing about this is I completely forgot the names of these sets. I thought this was literally called the Jewel and Dharma ghost, but it's actually called Halo Covenant Commander, which <laughs> I did not remember that. And this one is called the All Terrain Mongoose. Now, I decided to do a dual review of these because they're super nostalgic sets. They come with very iconic characters and some really nice vehicles Hot take, I don't think the ghost has ever looked this good. I think this was the best one until reaches in display cabinet. The new ghost, oh yeah. And it's quite nice because they mirror each other really well, considering this is Julem Dharma with his ghost and Gekla is Julem Dharma's second in command. So it's basically just a reprised version of this. It's crazy that they were basically the same price point, but this one comes with three more figures and more paint apps and just exponentially more detail. So really cool that they are both uh, side by side here. And this one was a huge improvement on previous ghosts. This this one I don't think did that much to improve the mongoose model. We'd had so many up until this point. We did get an Emil that finally, uh, well, let's just say this was the first time we got a new articulation Emil and when it first came out, uh, it was not very well received because it had a very poor paint application on his helmet. You know, Emil is most iconic for scratching his helmet with his Kukri knife, but the uh, original Emil batch that shipped pretty much every single one had a super faded visor. So a lot of people complained Mega reprised it and re-released it. I think they just sent out another batch. This set is listed to come out in 2014, while Jewel and Dharma came out in 2015. And the packaging reflects that with the Master Chief design versus the new Spartan Lock Hunter design. Yeah, just leading into Halo 5 Guardians, I believe 2014. Let's let's actually find out, shall we? Yeah, okay, so Halo 5 Guardians came out 
in 2015. So Emil was sort of shoehorning the end of the uh, previous era of Halo 4 sets. You actually see Mega do this a lot. Coming to the end of a game cycle, you know, when they've had maybe releases around a certain game for at least three or four years, they'll then start going back to old stuff. And you could see this in the Halo 5 Guardians era where they would re-release sets like the Cobra. You know, just not when they're running out of ideas, but certainly when they've uh, released everything they wanted to for a certain game. You may also notice this leg is quite loose on this Emil, but that never really matters when you sort of bend it into a joint tightly, it will stay, uh, stay put. And I also do really like the paint apps on this Emil. I will note that it doesn't have any paint on his shoulder, which is an upgrade with the Halo Heroes Emil, and I believe the 20th character pack Emil. But it's still got a lot of great paint apps. It comes with a plain black shotgun. It also comes with a silver Kukri knife, but mine uh, did not because I purchased this secondhand. Did not come with the Kukri knife, but still looks great with the black shotgun. And the Kukri knife has actually come out in a fair amount of sets. Like I've, I've got a good handful of them back in England, but right now I'm in Minnesota, so I do not. We talk about this Julem Dharma, uh, always one of my favorite characters. Yes, he had a terrible end to his reign. It's the classic trope in uh, in media where you have a long-standing bad guy and you kill him just to show off how strong a new bad guy or a new good guy is. So Julem Dharma just got wasted by Locke just to show that Locke was a powerful character. The same happened with the Hulk getting wasted by Thanos in the opening of Infinity War, which I did really like. This is also a prelude to my favorite ever new articulation figure, which is the Halo Heroes Julem Dharma. I just think it's an insanely good figure. We have the hand of Didact there. Uh, Gekulhar just brought the steering wheel of his uh, his ghost with him as I pulled it off. But they look uh, they look great side by side. They are a nice duo there. First time I've ever had them. Uh, yeah, I, I was very surprised by this Gekulhar. It actually has some details that sets him apart from other Storm Elites, so that's quite nice. A review of the hijacked, uh, hijacked ghost. No, a review of the Ghost of Requiem coming soon. Yeah, nice figure. He comes with the new energy sword as well. This was being introduced in the Halo 5 Guardians era. Funnily enough, uh, Mega have seemed to revert back to the original sword, although I guess this sword came out. Maybe they classify this as the Halo 5 Guardian sword because it did come out recently, but they have had the old energy sword coming out in new sets as well. So two very good figures. I think Mega have uh, way upped their game in the last couple of years with figure counts per set, uh, like in a huge way. But I still like the, the OG uh, vehicles that just came with one character. The ghost, let's talk about this ghost. Good printed detailing on the hood there. You're not gonna find really anything else printed on this set, but a lot of it is ergonomic. A lot of it does feel like it was made to be ridden. For example, these nice uh, footholds down here that just clip into the base. Uh, what, what would you call aerodynamicness to this set? It, it does feel like a fast moving vehicle. Good handles with articulation so you can fit any figure inside. These should have had some printed detail like exhausts or whatever you would call these booster pads. They do usually have detail. We have translucent ones on the base. The standard firing cannons that Mega hasn't updated in a long time but don't really need to. You're gonna find that they're still the exact same on the Ghost of Requiem because you know if it ain't broke you certainly don't need to fix it sir. But you can see printed detailing on the Ghost of Requiem does set it apart from that. Much nicer, much nicer. This this is like, this ghost is absurdly good. Makes this one look a little sadder, but I do like this. Then these two wings clip in nicely, and they do have a great symmetry to them. They clip in well, and you know, a lot of wings on ghosts and banshees are very flimsy. Even the one on the Arbiter's Quest banshee, these do uh, break very easily. So this is nice. Very good structure, very well designed, and I do love this dark Covenant purple. There's a lot of arguments online nowadays which is better, put Covenant Purple or Banished Red, but I don't see the conversation going towards Covenant Purple, Storm Covenant Purple, and Banished Red, because I think that would be the order in uh, Worst to Best. <laughs> Banished Red, I do love, but then again, you get things like the Hijack Ghost, and that ghost, in my opinion, was just not good. Cartoony Red. I like Dark Reds, Crimsons, and I like Dark Purples. So this is perfect for me. This is a ghost fit for a Covenant leader. Julem Dharma, you're looking great, my friend. Although I do always find with these big elites, they're meant to have their head under here to see the control panel, the heads up display, and that's not really gonna work, but the feet do uh, fit really nicely on those foot uh, pedals, so that's that's at least decent. Then we got this uh, Mongoose, way more printed detailing on this one, UNSC, UNSC, headlights, 
Um, oh, I just had to check if they were stickers. No, they are definitely printed. That one's a tiny, tiny bit wonky. Not many mongooses actually have the uh, the side mirrors, which is nice. No printed detailing, but doesn't necessarily need to be. And we do have this movable foot holster on the back, so anyone can stand on it as a passenger, and also uh, because it is a little bit movable. I don't know if many characters are going to be holding onto this middle handle. That seems a bit awkward. Yeah, sure, I, I guess. That's not a very comfortable ride, but <laughs> I guess what can you expect from hanging on the back of an all-terrain mongoose? Again, nice, movable, uh, flexible foot pedals, so you can position them as whatever position you'd like. The handlebar as well, also movable. So there's a lot of uh, posability there. And again, we got a lot of different characters, a lot of different sizes, so it's nice to know that pretty much any of your mega constructs can hold on to this mongoose. We got a nice color design. I do like with these uh, these dark green jungle uh, camos, you do have different shades of green running throughout the plastic, sort of maybe as it sets in the mold. And yeah, very tight design. I like these grids on the sides. The wheels have a great silver rim internally. It's a decent mongoose, man. A decent mongoose and a decent ghost. And to be honest, uh, two of my favorites, they stand the test of time. A lot of vehicles that uh, release with Mega, they get outdated throughout the years. I certainly don't think that banished ghost, the hijacked one, is going to live up uh, in 10 years time as a legacy set. But these two will. Uh, I think they're a, a, lot, a lot of the time forgotten about. But if you want named characters, guys, you can find these on eBay for not that cheap. Uh, not that cheap. No, that doesn't make sense. Not that expensive. You can find these for an affordable price and you can get yourself uh, two iconic characters, like true Truly, they're not that bad. You'll uh, be surprised uh, how affordable the prices are online. So let me know in the comments down below if you've managed to score these two legacy sets before, released in 2014 and 2015. And as always, you have a great day out there. You stay awesome, you stay safe. Uh, a little reminder, again, these mystery reviews will be coming out across loads of different YouTubers, and I'll be reminding you which are released on what days, so keep an eye on my community tab, our Facebook group, the Mega Constructs Domain, and our Discord links, as always, to all of those in the description description down below. And I want to give a huge shout out and welcome to our new Patreon, Nathan Williams. Joined two days ago, so happy to have you in the crowd. We have a really awesome community, especially on our Discord where we have a private chat. And as always, shout out to all my other Patreons. You guys are amazing, really helping me through a crazy time in my life. As always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And Emil and Julem Dama are signing off. And also, who would win in a fight? Emil or Julem Dama? Let me know in the comments down below. Sure.